Hello, my name is David McKenzie and it's my pleasure to share a few ideas about Duo and Terp with you. Over the years, I've been fortunate enough to be involved in coaching several duos that achieved great finishes in national final rounds. As I reflect on each of these duos, it's difficult to find one formula that I can share to provide you with instant success. Instead of a formula, allow me to provide some guidelines we have used over the years at Plymouth High School. Factor number one, the rules. No matter what, we begin here. If your goal is to compete in your region or state, begin with their rules in mind. If your goal is the NFL National Tournament, begin on page TD24 of the current NFL tour Tournament Manual. Factor number two, the students. While students like to pick their own partners, many times they choose friends. That often is not the best choice. Oh, it may get the students involved in competitive speech, but as you gain coaching experience, you'll be much better at pairing students. Our top criterion at Plymouth is balance. This does not need to, me need to mean that the students you pair are twins or that they need to dress the same. However, the event is duo and the students need to be similar in dedication to practice and energy and performance. Their skill level should mesh so that the audience wants to watch both speakers as much as possible and see each as integral to the success of the performance. Like the director of a play, a movie, or a television show, the leads, or in this case, the partners, should be well matched as they stand before an audience. Factor number three, material. Of all the items on this list, this may be the most complicated. Once you've paired the students, find something that allows them to both display their talents the best. And once again, you can allow them to choose their material. However, as you develop experience with assessing your students and material, you'll be able to make more suitable and mature choices. The students will often begin by selecting what they think other students will like. You know that the adult judge in the round ultimately fills out that ballot. Again, there's no magic bullet. We've won national championships with cuttings from a two-act drama, a one-act play that was both comic and dramatic in nature, a novel that eventually developed into a hit television series, and a Broadway musical. In three of the four cases, the students did not initially like the choice our staff made. And by the way, in the fourth case, one of the students chose and cut the material. So it's okay to listen once in a while. You are going to need a heart transplant. Let's get you that new heart. Factor number four. Learn from what's going on around you, but don't be afraid to buck the trend. Duo is a relatively new event. More than any other speech event, it has changed in the last decade. Early in its evolution, partners stood side by side and performed one character apiece in playing what appeared to be one continuous scene. Now, students frequently perform choreographed, episodic pieces in which each student performs multiple characters. In 2004, Bat Boy the Musical won the NFL National Championship with two young men performing multiple scenes involving multiple characters. In 2005, on the other hand, Barbara's Wedding won the National Championship with a young lady and a young man performing one character apiece in a cutting that appeared to be one fluid storyline. Finally, last year the national champions performed a multiple character, highly choreographed, energetic cutting from the Broadway show Clue. Every year, every champion brings us something different, something that got them to the national finals. So, with the NFL rules in mind, along with balanced students paired in a performance of material that allows them to display their abilities in a contemporary performance style, Let's see what the 2007 NFL National Tournament has to teach us. Let's see here. Oh my God! La 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 la
marmalade. I thought you weren't coming. I carved out some time. 30 minutes? 10? That's not very many. Look, it's the best I could do. Well, then we better get started. What is it today? House. Whenever you're ready. Would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, have we started yet? Yes. Oh, I would love a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, shoot, I think I hear my beeper. You don't have to go back to the office tonight, do you, dear? No, Lucy, my real beeper. Lucy! I'm busy, Mom! Lucy, honey, what are you doing? Mr. Marmalade just came home from the office, and he has to leave in like five minutes, so I'd really, really appreciate it if you could just leave us alone, Mom! <laughs> Tea? Albert Einstein once said, Logic will get you from point A to point B. But imagination can take you anywhere. Lucy travels with her imaginary friend, Mr. Marmalade, to the worlds of her imagination. But she soon discovers that she hasn't traveled too far from reality. Mr. Marmalade. By Noah Hyde. Who is it? It's me, Emily, your babysitter. Can I come in? No. Oh, good. Ah, how you doing? Fine. And how was your friend? Mr. Marmalade. Wait, how do you know Mr. Marmalade? Oh, we go hang out all the time. Oh, you do not. We go to the mall and we get manicures. <gasps> ah! Mr. Marmalade does not get manicures. Okay, we don't go to the mall. Okay, chill out. Your mom told me about him. Well, what'd she say? She said that he's very busy. Well, he is a very important man. Well, it doesn't matter how important he is. He has to make time for Joe. Well, he wants to. It's just that uh, things are so crazy at the office right now. Well, my boyfriend, George, used to say that he was too busy to hang out with me. Oh, what you do? I start hooking up with him. <gasps> then did he have more time for you? Oh, you better believe he did. I mean, look at me. <laughs> mm. So, um, do you want to play tea party? Uh, no. But you know what I used to play when I was little? What? Okay, I used to play this game mm -hmm. called Lime. How do you play? Okay, what you do is you stand in line. And then? And then you act like you're waiting for something in line. And then? Oh, and then that's it. Come on, come on, come on. So, Lucy, what are you waiting for? Mm, mm, the butcher! Ah! Lucy, there is no butcher! We are waiting in line for the bus! So, Lucy, what number are you waiting for? Mm, four! Ah! Lucy, there is no bus number four! Look, you are no good at playing line. Oh, no, if you play again, I'll be better, no, no, I promise. Your Besides, George is about to come George? over. George? No, Lucy, George is not your supposed to come your over. Get our teeth on it. Ding dong. Okay, let him. How do I look? How do I look? Easy. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, hey, George. Hey, Lucy. It looks like he brought his little brother Larry over. You two kids have fun. I'm Larry. Nice to meet you, Larry. What are you doing? Well, that's how people greet each other. Oh. So, um... Do you want to play doctor? Yeah. So what seems to be the problem? I don't know. I feel fine. No, Larry, pretend. Oh. <sighs> I'm having chest pain. <laughs> You are going to need a heart transplant. Let's get you that new heart. Let's see here. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Hold on! Larry! Stop crying. I can't hear you, honey. The baby's crying. I know the baby's crying. I can hear the baby crying. Shut that kid up. Just a second. Look, if you can't handle her, go back to the kitchen because I can't hear myself think. That's because you're drunk. Look, I think you're forgetting to work 20 hours a day. Okay. Shut that kid up. She'll be asleep in a minute. But then she'll be awake in another Can't minute. you stop yelling. I can't. Take this anymore. I'm out of here. Shh. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Well, it was really nice to meet you, Larry. Uh, but I think I hear your brother. You should go. Nice to meet you too, Lucy. Bye. 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 Bye, 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 how was work? It's a freaking nightmare. You have no idea. Wow. Well, would you like a cup of coffee? No, not right now, Lucy. I'm tired and I can't hear myself think. Have you been drinking? Yeah. What's in that bottle, Mr. Look, Marmalade? Look, off my back. I just got in and you start nagging me. But what's in that bottle? Some vodka. You want some? Oh, oh no, 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 I don't want any Are you sure? Because but... this is some good stuff. Hey, let's play house. I walk in and I say, honey, I'm home. And then you say, how was work? And then I say, a really suck. But someone's got to provide for this family. What? You don't want to play house with me anymore? No, not like this, not when you're drunk. Well, who's drunk? This is like a cup of coffee. I don't even feel it. Lucy, I think you're forgetting I work 20 hours a day. Come on, let's play house. No! Then let's play doctor! No! I'll see you on Sunday. No, you won't. What? I don't want to see you anymore. What? I don't want to see what, what you anymore. What the hell are you talking about? Because I don't want to play vodka? house with you. No. Because I'm busy? No. Because I can't play with you? No. Because what? Because I deserve better than you, Dad! Hey, hey, Lucy. I forgot my... Are you okay? Uh -huh. What are you doing? What? It's how people greet each other. Are you going to sue me for sexual harassment? Oh, no! <laughs> so 
Anybody want to play house? Honey, I'm home. How was work? What? With Lily! Nothing. I did it so I could spend more time with you. You did? Yeah.